1794 saw a great celebration with the opening of the Peak Forest Canal. But there was a problem. There was a missing link between the upper level and the lower level. There simply wasn't enough money to complete the flight of locks to connect the two levels. Initially, the goods were transshipped onto wagons at the upper level and then brought down on a tram road and transshipped back onto boats at the lower level. It took over 10 years before the locks were finally completed and this magnificent stretch of 16 locks was finally opened. By 1962, these locks were derelict and virtually abandoned. Finally, after years of campaigning, the canal was restored and in 1974 reopened as part of one of the most popular cruising circuits in Britain. And this is the Marple Aqueduct. These three great archways leaping 100 feet over the River Goit Valley are like something out of ancient Rome. But it could have been very different. An American engineer, Robert Fulton, proposed an aqueduct in cast iron. But in 1800, there wasn't yet the confidence in this new material. So instead, canal engineer Benjamin Outram built this river in the sky in red sandstone and white limestone and it was certainly designed to impress. Behind is the even taller railway viaduct built 65 years later. Unlike the aqueduct which took five years to build, this was built in just one year. In 1962, disaster struck when the outer face of one of the arches collapsed. British Waterways Board said it would be a complete waste of money to even consider rebuilding it. It should be demolished and the canal closed for good. But fortunately, it was restored. And now this is a Grade 1 listed structure and an integral part of the Cheshire Ring. 100 mile circuit of waterways. And the journey continues along the lower Peak Forest Canal. And following the contours of a wooded valley until we reach the 308-yard Hyde Bank Tunnel. And then the Woodley Tunnel, this one with a towpath. past former mills and warehouses and finally to Duckinfield Junction where we join the Ashton Canal at Portland Basin on the outskirts of Manchester looking very different from when I last passed this way on a hire boat in the 1980s 